Hello. Hello. You know the way this is a short film? It's going to be a very short, short film this week. I'm sorry lads, I am knackered. It's Saturday afternoon and um, and you see tomorrow is my only day off and I was planning on not getting out of bed or putting on any makeup nor nothing and then you see we leave at the crack of dawn on uh, Monday for our tour of the north you see um, so it's uh, so now was my only chance you see um, but uh, I'm sorry lads I'm knackered it's been I mean it's been lovely everyone has been so lovely and I am just home from uh, doing a signing in Easton's in O'Connell Street and so many lovely people came many of them wishing me birthday wishes and hold on a second there I will show you some lovely lady brought me these so it's about half five now and I'm going to lie in bed here and eat them and yes all of them and uh, it's my second birthday nearly and then I'm going to get up to watch Pasha and the rest of them, you know. So I am very sorry. It's just that I am, I, uh, I'm old and I'm tired and I'm in good form. I'm in very good form. You know, often when I do this sort of thing, the, the being out there and the speaking on the telly and all, I get the vulnerability uh, hangover or the shame hangover and stuff. And I'm not really getting it. I'm just very, very, very tired. So I hope you will forgive me this week. But himself there says that he will show you bits and pieces. Hello, I'm in the green room of The Right Stuff. It's um, the 7th of uh, September. It's my publication day. Yeah, yeah, I was about 16 and I was one of the vocabulary. Like to, to, do, to do that mm. and so the story is told mostly from the point of view but it's just I'd like to say to people out there that like don't blame yourself if you can't find the cause it's an illness yeah. like I don't I understand so little about it well I suppose it's an uninvited guest yes uh, it yeah. ambushes you I'm here in the Bray bookshop in Blackrock with the wonderful Marion Keys and we're here to talk about Marion's new book The Break so Marion Tell us about The Break in your own inimitable words. Okay, um, The Break is about a woman called Amy who is 44 and she's been coupled up for about 18 years with a lovely man and they, and they are very, very happy. And he has a couple of kind of unfortunate, you know, life events that happen to everybody and it, it sends him into what you might call a midlife crisis and he wants... Oh, the only way that he can see that he will be happy again is if he can have six months off from his marriage and kind of recapture his youth. Myself and Hugh, I say, we're taking a break. A city with fancy food, sort of a break. Mora narrows her eyes. Or a Rihanna, sort of a break. Well, she presses her case, is it the city with fancy food break? No, it's the Rihanna kind. You've got to be joking me. Because Rihanna is, what, 22 and you're not 22. It's imperative to shut her down before she utters my age. I don't know how I got to be 44. Clearly I had my eye off the ball, but a bit late to the party, I'm trying to airbrush away all references to it. It's not just the fear of dying, and worse, the fear of becoming dowly. It's because I work in PR, a dynamic, youthful sector, which does not value the less young amongst us. I have bills to pay. I'm simply being practical here. What he might be able to show you is um, the Redsers came to my signing and they didn't have to queue up, but they did anyway because they're feckin' hilarious and uh, loads of people at the signing either saw them or asked about them and then if, if they had let, if some had, if some people asked about them when they had left, they were so disappointed which is sort of cute. They don't know, they have no idea how famous they are. It's probably just as well. Anyway, now I'm going to read the A to Z of my sweets. That's some lovely, lovely woman. I can't remember her name now because I'm so tired. Now, um, next Monday, I will be at home and I will be able to be, you know, um, doing it on a Monday morning because I'll have to be minding dad again. Things will be back to normal. I am sorry to be so ponchoed,
but everything has been lovely and uh, and you have all been so kind to me and uh, I'm sorry for the shaggeredness this week but adios mon amiibos have a lovely week see you next week <laughs>